hope you're all well. I'm back with a long read for you guys, so we'll get straight into it and say our prayer. Dear God, Holy Spirit and Spirit Guides, please help me give this message of clarity to the collective and any guiding messages they may need to know. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, so this morning and yesterday I've been getting a lot of perfection energy. And I feel as though it's creating a lot of blockages for you because it's kind of like, well, if it can't be perfect, then I'm not going to do it. Or if it's not a certain way, then I'm not going to do it. And it's preventing you from pushing forward with things, um, possibly even holding on to something. It's like you're holding on to something. It could come from childhood or adolescence or even just younger years where... Um, like a stigma in a way had been attached to you where you felt felt the need you couldn't ever make a mistake and that's where the perfectionism comes into it we all make mistakes as humans we make mistakes that's how we learn um so yeah that's just a heads up oh guess what i got a new deck focus focus deck and it's so good i'm loving it this is the first read i'm doing for you guys with it i've done a few personal reads for myself um which feels really good so let's get into it hard to be sitting where they are at the moment oh yeah like you feel stuck in a way um and just sitting still sometimes it's in the mo moments when we're sitting still that we can find peace and find what we're truly seeking um <coughs> yeah like you, you feel stuck in a way Try to take this time to um, find peace within it. These cards are like really, they're new, so they're a bit hard to um, to bend and to use for the first couple of times, and then after a while they get better. Bird just flew by. I get the impression you feel as though other people are flying high and soaring high and you're still in the same spot even though you've done a lot of work you don't really feel a progression in the 3D sometimes we do a lot of work in the spiritual sense and within ourselves within one soul and it won't reflect in the 3D um, sometimes other people won't even see the work you've done. Um, they won't notice a change. So that's when we really have to be our own cheerleader and really cheer ourselves on and give yourself a pat on the back and give yourself a good job for doing <laughs> everything you have to get where you are today. Because the shadow work is easy. Feel like you've done a bit of shadow work and you've delved deep and, um, I feel like that's, that's created this, you feeling stagnant in some way, because you're not stagnant. Although you may feel like you're stuck, you're not stuck. Um, I've got coffee mugs today. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, working through those, um, those blockages, and I'm going to do another split. Not even one had popped yet. Maybe it was just a channeled message to really need to hear. And it's not because they knew that they're not popping because I did a read with them for myself and they were popping them, so could be just this stagnant energy I'm picking up on. So we've got your emperor in reverse, ace of potions in reverse, and judgment in reverse. They're all in reverse. Let's get on fast. You're putting a lot of judgment on yourself. 
even though this judgment card is in reverse, you've placed a lot of judgment on yourself, which is taking you out of the emperor, and that's why it's in the reverse. It's taking you out of that masculine energy for some reason. God is the only one who can judge us, so he is the only one who can read hearts. So don't let other people judge you and don't judge yourself. That's not your job. Stop doing that. Yes, hold yourself accountable. Yes, reflect. Yes, do the inner work. But this, what I'm talking about, is something where... How do I explain it? You beat up on yourself a lot and for things that you don't need to, especially if it was just a lesson that was learned, even though you've learned that lesson and you've taken the lessons from it, you still beat up on yourself over something you've already learned the lesson for. That's why you made that mistake. That's why we make mistakes, to learn the lesson. And if we don't learn it the first time around, we will be shown that same lesson over and over again until we get it and until we learn it. And you've learned that. So you need to drop the judgment on yourself. Um, and here's your Ace of, Ace of Potions, which represents your Ace of Cups. A lot of... Um, a lot of judgment here, like emotional judgment, physical judgment, like on your appearance, the way you look, the way you are inside. Just a lot of judgment that is not necessary. It's only it's only God's job to judge us. And yes, we need to reflect and we need to hold ourselves accountable. I'm not saying not to do that. But you really, they really just keep going. Like you've really beaten up on yourself and it needs to stop. Because if it does not stop, it's going to change the tra trajectory the directory what the hell <laughs> the direction of your life um oh, sorry my battery i don't know if no one else um yeah so really do some inner work try and find that balance to drop judgment upon yourself are you a wednesday's child i'm a wednesday's child and wednesday's child is full of worry and it's hard to drop that worry and it's so easy for other people to say well just don't worry about it why are you worried about it <laughs> and they just don't understand the anxiety and the worry in that. So, um, yeah, just drop that judgment. I think that's the main message for today, really dropping that judgment upon yourself. Um, three of potions and your six of lightning. Your six of lightning was in reverse. Oh, sorry, I didn't see a judgment card. Judgment. Um, <clears throat> this is your six of lightning, which would represent your six of swords. So something in the past there, like past people. Maybe past people put a lot of judgment onto you, which in turn made yourself judge yourself when I think you never used to before that, if that makes sense. Your three of potions uh, represents your three of cups in community. Um, I'm not getting any celebration here though. So I'm getting from this people from your past community. Um, whether that be friends or like a social group you used to hang out with but w weren't really friends. Maybe you used to just like met up at, I'm getting men's shed. <laughs> I know that's for like older blokes kind of thing, but I think younger blokes go to the men's shed. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this is you and if you went to the men's shed recently because there's a lot you can learn there. Um, but sometimes you will get very judgy, judgy people and they will place their own judgments upon you and also their own projections. No one knows you better than yourself, so listen to your inner self. Minus the extra judgment. <laughs> Minus the extra judgments upon yourself. And that's when you'll start to fly. Because you feel like you're not flying at the moment. Feel like you're stagnant. What about this stagnant energy? Because it's not just as easy to just drop the stagnant energy or the worry. So 